Hello and welcome to a brand new series on the channel here. We're playing some Football Manager 2022. Big fan of the FM series. I thought new game came out, why not give it a go? And to me there's no better team to be doing save with than my own team, Chelsea here. I wanted a bit of a spin on it to make it a little bit harder. So we're going with Le Cobham Supremacy. We are going with largely youth-based Chelsea. No signings. I can only sign players who already have that homegrown status. So that's very quickly going to go out the window as the years go on. Starting the game, I'm going to be going for every match day squad has to have at least six players trained at club. I don't know how feasible that's going to be when injuries start, but that's what we're going to go with. And then over the years, that'll, of course, increase to 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll let eventually, the aim will be the entire squad all being homegrown at club. Kicking off things, we'll be taking on Villarreal here in the UEFA Super Cup. Uh, so let's just have a look. Uh, Pre-season-wise, it has gone pretty well. Six games, five wins, five good wins. That one draw to Fulham, but, you know, trying out new tactics and that. Uh, and the last game we played was actually a friendly against Villarreal, where we won 4-0, so hopefully that is some good vibes for the match today. Uh, Tactics-wise, we've got three tactics trained. We have a 4-3-3 here with a DM, we've got a 4-2-3-1, moving that DM to a cam. And then we have the team we're going to be going with today, and mainly I do think the 4-5-1 here. Going over the squad uh, to, for today, we have Mendy in goal. Super keeper support, just getting the ball forward a bit. Then that back three with a ball playing defender in the middle in Christensen. And then either side we have James and Chalaber, a wide centre back attack. We're going to bomb forward past those wing backs in Hudson Adon on the right. And we usually Ben Chilwell, but he's injured. So we Harvey Vale making his debut at left wing back here, both on wing back support. Then in the hole we have Kante and ball winning midfielder defend. Looking to just sweep up any loose balls, get them back into play, get them back forward. That centre mid pairing of Mount on advanced play maker, looking to get the ball forward, and then Loftus Cheek, Mazala attack, looking to get in the box a bit. I think Loftus Cheek's best role, in my opinion. And then we have Havertz in shadow striker attack, just behind the lone striker, of course, Romelu Lukaku on pressing forward attack. Looking at the match day squad here, as you can see, we have Lukaku trained in nation and seven players trained at club, with two more on the bench and one more trained in nation on the bench. It's a very youth-based squad, but that's the intention here. That's the aim. That's the goal. And hopefully, the boys will do well here in the UEFA European Super Cup. Teams warming up here now. And there are the squads. It's a strong Villarreal team, but hopefully, if we play as we can do, then hopefully, we'll come out on top here. Head into the dressing room. And let's outstretch our arms. Let's pump our fists. Tell them the fans deserve a trophy. Defenders, I have faith in you. Midfield, I have faith in you. And then Romelu Lukaku, oh boy, do I have faith in him. Uh, most people motivated here, so I'll take that as a win <laughs> as we get into the action here on in the first game of this save in the European Super Cup against Villarreal. I'll just set that to delegate because who has time? There you go, there's the boys, that 5-4-1. Hopefully it works out. Straight into the action here. Let me just make sure the in-game settings are okay. Increase that, 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 that. Replay off, there you go. I might fiddle around with that more as the series goes on, but... That is very laggy. So let's try just turning that down. See that how it does. It really doesn't. So, yeah, we're going to go replays on. And let's go to a 2D camera. And hopefully, yeah, that is a lot better. Speed up the 2D a little bit. A lot of replays on. As the game is properly underway here. Just a bit of teething problems in the first and it's 1-0 already, 33 seconds. Hudson and Doyle, the wing back, crosses it in. And I said, Luke, I said I thought that was Loftus Cleek's best roll. And it's a goal here, just over 30 seconds into the game. Loftus Cheek with the header. What a start. 
Uh, Chelsea taking a very early lead thanks to Loftus Cheek in the Mazzala there. Villarreal moving the ball around well, just trying to keep it understandable after uh, conceding that early. You, you just want to play into the game a little bit. You want to get some game, some on the ball time of your own. Hudson is stealing it to Kante to James Hudson Adoy here. Doing amazing. Over the top to Lukaku. Through to Kai Haver. Saved by Asenio. Good play though. Good play from the boys. Just getting the ball forward. Stealing it. Going quickly. Getting that attack in. Happy with that. Hovell the cross headed away. Hudson Adoy picks it up. Back to Reese James. In that wide centre back attacking role. Getting forward. Cross in. Loftus cheek again with a header. This time it's saved. Let's just change that to Chelsea formation. Yep, Hudson Adoy and Loftus Cheek highest rating, as expected after this quick start from them. We've got a corner now here. Mouse at Mason Mount. Corner in. Saved by a senior. I think that was a Reese James header. Saved by a senior though. But the boys dominant display. No shots from Villarreal. Six shots for us. Six on target. Only forty percent possession though. Villarreal with more possession, but we're making our possession count. We're getting the ball forward, moving it well. Oh, Loftus cheek hurt here. He wants to come off. Decisions to make. Oh. Now I know the smart move is just to slap Timo Werner up there. Uh, but I'm not the smart man, so I'm going to put Jensen Bell on for his debut. Because why not? Why not give Jude Sunset Bell his Chelsea debut here? Very talented young player. I've put him on the bench partly because of the whole homegrown thing, but still, he's very talented. And so, yes, screw it. Let's give Jude Sunset Bell his debut here. There he is. Game's going well. What give you for chance? That's the entire point of this. Jude Sunset Bell and Harvey Bell. Both getting Chelsea debuts here in the Super Cup. And hopefully that won't be a big error on my part in my managerial debut here. Hudson Doy hurt now. Hopefully get the game forward a little bit more. I'll go to Horner. Mason Mount whipping it in. Headed away by five, but Mount picks it up. Cross back in. Misses everyone. Harvey Vale, though, the youngster, picking it up. Moving the ball forward. Back to Trevor Chalaba. Loftus Cheek gets it in. Headed away. Mount there, though. Chalaba. Mount James. The team moved the ball very quickly. Hudson Adoy to Mount to Havertz. Tries to get to Loftus Cheek, but cleared. Uh, but the, we get it forward again to Loftus Cheek. Hits the upright. Loftus Cheek. In that Mazzola role, he's very, very good. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to make some ch double changes here at the break in my fullback department. Vale, tired. Hudson Doy hurt. Got a corner though for now. Mason Mount whips it in. Loftus Cheek just what is? I feel like it's just Loftus Cheek attacking at the moment. Every single highlight seems to be a Loftus Cheek shot. And I'm not complaining, but still... Dominant display in as we head into halftime here. Villarreal, not a single shot. They have more possession, but they're doing nothing with it. Ten shots, seven on target. One expected goal, one actual goal in the 30 seconds in from Loftus-Cheek. Dressing room, yes please. Outstretched arms, lads. Very happy with that. Where's Ruben? Ruben, you're playing very well, kid. Keep it up. And then I will make those fallback changes, I think think I'm going to move Reese James to wing back and then defensively I'm going to go for Rudiger in that uh, right wide centre back role Harvey Vale tired as well so I'm going to go for Marcus Alonso there uh, yep nothing else to it I think just some direct replacements. Move Ruth Rhys James onto that wing back where he's a bit more comfortable anyway, I'd say. And then uh, Rudiger and Alonso, I have faith in you to not completely mess this up. But that may be a mistake on my part. 
we'll have to wait and see. Second half on the way though here. Hopefully it will be as comfortable as the first. Reese James with a free kick into the wall. Alonso picking it up. That's the end of that. A little shout out here. Alonso doing well with a 7.0. Shout out though to Trevor Chalaba doing very well in that wide centre back attack role on the left. 7.2 rating. Very happy with him. Hopefully himself and uh, Reese James can make those two positions their own for now. Uh, let's get to 70 minutes and then probably we're going to make another change. Do it now. Uh, Kai Havertz a bit tired, so I am going to bring on Hakim Ziyech. Maybe I could do that. That's something that is in my power. Uh, yeah, let's bring on Hakim Ziyech. Just behind advanced playmaker support. Mason Mount is going to go advance playmaker attack. Ziek is motivated. Hopefully, he'll do well here in that uh, just behind the striker advance playmaking role. We are on the defense here though. Serge Aurier to Jeremy. Saved by Mendy. Oh, chaos in the box, but we managed to clear it in the end. Jesus. Look at the roll with their first two shots. Neither on target. No goal for them. So just keep going on, I guess. We got a chance here now. Mace about with the corner. Into the box. Headed away. Marcus Alonso picking up, though. Getting it back to Mount. Just on the edge of the box to James. Rudiger. To James. To Rudiger. To Ziek. Alonso. Saved by the keeper, but Alonso doing very well here. Very good at just getting to those loose balls, getting the ball back into action. Reese James with a good tackle to Loftus Cheek to Sunset Bell. Mount Ziek out to James. Lots of space. Mason Mount has a go. What a shot. Asenio making the big save, though. But still, a dominant display here. 75 minutes, two shots of Villarreal with none on target. 17 to us with 12 on target. Still, not much possession. Villarreal with a 60, but. We don't have the ball much, but when we have it, we're just getting forward. We're getting the attacks. We've got the lead. Mason Mount, another one here. Christensen now on the ball to Reese James, to Rudiger, Mason Mount, Ziek. Free ball to Sunset Bell. Oh, ho I was hoping for a debut at goal there, but that was never going in. Asenio making a save anyway. Got a corner. Mason Mount in the box, headed away. Ziek picking it up. Taking it wide, getting it across, headed away. Oh. The, scene, it, the thing I'll say, though, is this formation is working at the moment. The ball moving quickly. Loftus-Cheek in that Mazzala role, getting the goal, having a lot of chances and opportunities. Very happy with, both, with that. I'm going to... I think I can make one more sub. Yeah, I think it's five subs. So I can make one more. Loftus-Cheek very tired. And so Ross Barkley... Oh, I didn't think I'd say that this year, early in the series, but Ross Barkley will get his chance. Ross... I'll try not to laugh when saying it, but I do have complete and utter faith in you to perform as well as Loftus has. Uh, Ross Barkley coming on here uh, with the trained at club and trained at nation thing. That's probably going to be something I say a lot in this early series at least. But Loftus Cheek definitely deserving of a rest after his man of the match performance here with that winning goal as things stand. Only five minutes left. Hopefully we can keep a hold of that lead. Oh, we're on the defence though here. Aurea Capu. Ross Barkley intercepting. There you go, Ross. Just getting the ball forward. Taking out what? Look how far down he's gone. He's gone pretty much to the top of the screen to the bottom. And he wins a corner. Time-wasting extraordinaire from Ross Barkley right there. We got the corner. Mason Mount whips it in. And Andreas Christensen heads home in the 90th minute to make it 2-0. What play from Ross Barkley to win the corner. Mason Mount whips it in. And Andreas Christensen's first ever Chelsea goal to get to double the lead. To guarantee the UEFA European Super Cup here in, the man in my managerial debut. And that is that. It's, no, it's not. Mendy to Alonso. Keeping it in to Chalaba. 
Kante, Ziyech. Come on, ref, just blow the whistle. Sunset Bell gives it away. That's it. All over at Windsor Park. Chelsea, UEFA European Super Cup winners here. What a debut. Very happy with this from the team. All that green. Do anyone's not green here in the starting 11 at least? You have to look at Barkley. Wasn't on much, but he won that corner that got the second goal. Sunset Bell, not the strongest debut, but he's got to build into it. He's a young lad. Hopefully, over time, he'll develop and he'll become that leading striker we'll be after. Harvey Vale was doing okay. Had to go off tired, though. But, you know, no, no, no issue with him. Havertz, you know, just new position. Hopefully, he'll build into it over time. And Lukaku with that 6.9 before he was injured. But I'm very happy with this. It is shockingly Mason Mount's last-minute corner there. Getting the assist. Getting him out of the match. I'd have given it to Loftus-Cheek for that goal. But who am I to judge? Everyone doing really, really well here. Let's go to the locker room. Lads, enjoy your celebrations. The entire defence was the... One, I'm delighted. And I'm also delighted with Mason, Ruben. I am delighted with both of you as well. I am delighted with everyone. I even want to talk to bloody Marcus Alonso, but I've already done that in the defence. Ziak, I thought you did well tonight as well. And... But that is it. Uh, really strong episode here. Really strong for our managerial debut. 2-0 win in the Super Cup. I'll sort out all the badges and everything for next time. But it is a Chelsea win to start things off. A goal in the first minute and a goal in the 90th minute to bookend a very, very strong display here. Just get to that email. Chelsea lift the European Super Cup. Hudson Adoy out for three to four weeks, which makes me sad because he was really good. But try not to focus on that for now. Focus on this. Chelsea lifting the European Super Cup. A strong start for Le Cobham supremacy here as Chelsea's youngsters, a team with how many players are that? Seven players in the starting 11 trained at club winning European silverware. I'm very happy with that. And hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, subscribe for more of this series as I look for complete footballing world domination through the Cobham supremacy. Thank you for watching.